Hey guys, we're at the 2024 PRI show. We're here with uh, Oscar from Alma Racing. We've helped develop some valve train for his bespoke engine. Oscar, can you just tell us a few things about your, the Hell engine? Yeah, so this is a 60 degree V6 engine, basically uh, designed to be a bolt-in replacement for the Nissan VR38 and the uh, GTR. And uh, yeah, we have some uh, drag and drive uh, targets, 4,000 horsepower for that. And that means we need quite a lot of cylinder pressure, but there's a kind of limit on how far we can go with that. So we need a lot of RPM also. And that's a massive, massive issue typically. So you end up with uh, valve train limitations on how fast you can spin that, but we still need massive lift to be able to get uh, the exhaust and intake flow. And yeah, we had uh, a lot of help from you guys uh, getting uh, design on the camshaft and seeing what type of lobes can we run? Can we like get enough durability so you're not like doing one event and then you need to scrap everything and rebuild stuff? Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. So we a lot of help with that. Yeah, we're um, we're still running a factory VR38 cast camshaft just for ease of replacement parts and uh, but the valve spacing and everything's all been moved. And uh, <laughs> yeah. what, what have you done as as well with the the bucket? Okay. Well, well, yeah, so um, start from, from uh, why that's happened. So we want to run the largest valves possible to uh, be able to get the flow correct and especially, or enough flow, and especially on the exhaust side with these uh, very, very high uh, power numbers, the exhaust valve flow is very limiting. So you need to run the largest possible valves. That means the largest possible uh, bore so you can fit the valves in the bore. And that ends up meaning that, okay, so you have larger valves, but you can't fit them closer together because they can't like overlap. So you need to space the valves out and then we run larger buckets to be able to still like have the contact patch of the factory like like a uh, cam lobe to still like stay on the bucket thing. And yeah, yeah. yeah, that's also something we had a uh, great help with you. Like, is this even possible? Do we need to go to fully custom yeah. cams? Because we want to kind of be able to also do like aftermarket VR38 cam compatibility. And that's awesome that we were able to achieve that and, yeah, and yeah. retain that compatibility. Yeah, and so this is one of the, this is the biggest, baddest camshaft profile we've ever made uh, and put on a VR38. So. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing this engine. Yeah, uh, and I guess you could probably running. the uh, low profile. So this is not for show. This is actual. This is the space that is required for the cam lobes. And yeah, you have the uh, caps underneath here, and it's like these are the shafts, and there's like a little bit of aluminum in between. But this is like the shaft diameter underneath. So, so this is the size you actually need to be able to fit those lobes in the engine. So. It's kind of good that we can see that from the outside. Much appreciated. Thanks very yeah, much. And I'm awesome. um, looking Thanks. forward to uh, getting the engine on the dyno and doing some testing. Yeah, and, I can't um, wait to hear it run. Yeah. <laughs> All right.